If you would, please share what happened in Texas today. What happened in Texas today, there was a gas pipeline explosion towards the border of Texas and Oklahoma. What's happening? What's going on? Talking to me? Mm-hmm. Lots of stuff. I, there's so much stuff that it's hard to condense it into one thing. You're right. Because I got one here that says that God's Army convoy traveling to Texas to stop migrants has seen a vehicle get lost, tire slashed, and someone stranded on the highway. So they're stranded on the highway. It turns out that the God's Army is not just like semi-trucks, there's buses as well. And on one of those buses, somebody on the bus obviously was not in tune with other people on the bus. And he was booted off the bus in the middle of somewhere in South Carolina without his wallet. Just left him on the side of the road. And it was live streamed when it happened. He was a mole. That's what a lot of people are saying. He was, um, he was a, he was a spy. He was, I'm sure, I feel like there's another term for this. I'm trying to think mission impossible, <laughs> like what word they would use. I mean, he's, um, a deceiver. He, in, he tried to infiltrate. Mm-hmm. And he For was, what reason, though? Because there's no way that he was going to uh, persuade the group. Well, it's so, not to persuade the group. It's to give people that are waiting for the group to get there the heads up of what's going on. How did they out him? That I don't know. I didn't see the live stream of when he got kicked off the bus. A lot of these things, they don't really add up. Mm -mm. And a lot of stuff doesn't make it to the news, the mainstream, anyway. Unless you're looking at random cities' um, local news you're not going to see a lot of things that are happening. Like the gas, the pipeline explosion wasn't on New York. Uh, which one's the right one? Not the New York Post, but New York Times. It wasn't on Washington, whatever that one is, Washington Sun. It wasn't on Yahoo. It wasn't on uh, CNBC. It was on a local news station. So this is all happening today. Mm -hmm. January 31st. This is all happening today, right? When's the last time you heard anything about the uh, MRE um, buckets of food that you used to see at Costco? Last time we were in Costco, I saw a couple of them, but it used to be there were pallets full and then there was like two or three and it was a low price blowout for them. But I don't ever hear anybody talking about them. Then why are people talking about them today? Um, probably because they are worried about what's going on with all of the migrants coming across the border and maybe the issues we've had in the last six months alone of different food plants that have gone up in flames, different uh, farms that have gone up, different, um, you know, the bird flu coming through and then all this other stuff and then droughts and issues with fruits and vegetables and then, you know, salmonella or, uh, what's the other one? I can't think of what the other one is right now, but all these different things. So people are probably thinking, ah, it'd probably be good to have some of this uh, astronaut food on hand. So it seems like Costco is predicting the next war with their, I mean, maybe they're not. Maybe these kits have always, always been around mm -hmm. and now they're, Costco's just, you know, getting their name put in the headline. Thanks, Sarah, for sending this email. And uh, it says Costco's emergency food kits spark a wild conspiracy theory by Doomsday Prepper. And I'm going to try to find the part in here that I really want to share with you guys. It's it, Honestly, I'm going to tell you guys right now, it was extremely hard for me to read this article. Because as I was well. reading it, there was so much going on that I had to consciously ignore it's, there's so many interruptions on this like i don't know how you can disseminate any of this information with being be, being bombarded by so many different things which almost makes everything else that you're being bombarded with less effective because now they're all distractions and you're not going to click on any of the advertisements mm -hmm. besides the fact that they're all meant to be subliminal which 
I didn't recognize that they were in the way, but I also don't know what they are. Mm -hmm. So, but that's just me. Maybe other people get their, you know, they get these ads soaked into their brain or propaganda or narratives or agendas or whatever. Who knows? Nobody knows. And then it started over at the top and I gotta find my spot again. <laughs> So in this article, there was something that really stood out to me. And it, it asked the question as to what prompted this doomsday prepper to initiate this walkthrough in Costco. And her clip came on the heels of a very, a very public North Atlantic Treaty Organization warning, NATO, that a full-blown war with Russia may be unavoidable. It was there that Dutch Admiral Rob Bauer, who chairs the NATO military committee, urged emergency preparedness over time. Quote, you need to have water. You need to have a radio on batteries and you need to have a flashlight on batteries to make sure that you can survive the first 36 hours. That's what he said in a recent press conference. Things like that, simple things, but it's, it starts there. The realization that not everything is planable, not everything is going to be hunky-dory in the next 20 years. As I'll repeat, to what prompted this doomsday preppers walkthrough, her clip came on the heels of a very public North Atlantic Treaty Organization warning that a full-blown war with Russia in the next 20 years may be unavoidable. So now we're stocking up on doomsday prepper food that nobody ever really wants to eat. Like you'd rather die than eat it because we may go to war with Russia in the next 20 years. And the only way we'll survive the next day and a half is if we eat this bucket of goop. Well, he didn't even say anything about buckets of goop. He said you need a radio and you need flashlights and water. See. He didn't say anything about the buckets of goop. That's why you, you need water. Nope. Nope. You need water to make those things you though. You need the water. So you already got the buckets. Yeah. You already got the buckets. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on. And also today, FBI director, Mr. Christopher Ray, everybody's favorite, warns that Chinese hackers are preparing to wreak havoc on US critical infrastructure. Oh, they've been warning about that. Anytime something happens, they say it's China. First, it was Iran when it was the the water thing in, where was it? Pennsylvania. Now it's China because you got to have an enemy to point at when something goes wrong. It can't just be because our country doesn't keep the grid up or we have our own hackers or our government hacks our own crap or whatever else. Got to blame it on a different country. All right. So we got chicken plants going up in flames. Gas we got pipelines exploded. gas pipelines exploded. We got convoys of truckers going to the border. We got Biden playing games with Congress. We got um, Biden now trying to say close the border, but then Trump saying no, don't because that's his uh, campaign. <laughs> his Biden campaign was only is saying there. close the border if he can get the money he wants for Ukraine. Yeah, but then you got Costco pushing not maybe not, but some affiliation with Costco pushing out these these meals. Uh, these mil oh, these, these MRE buckets, the prepper buckets. They had a specific name. I thought they had a. I, I thought it was uh. When I, when I used to look at them, they're just the MRE buckets. I don't remember any crazy name for them. I could be wrong. Those are the things. They're survival. Oh, the ready wise. Ready wise. Yeah. Yeah. Ready wise. It's ready -wise. a black bucket. Sometimes it has a yellow lid. Sometimes it has a red lid. None of them have protein. It's literally all just carbs and sugar. So there's that. Literally. You don't nothing. need some diabetes pills yeah. too. There's nothing in there that would actually like sustain. That's all. That's all it's gonna get you through the next 36 hours, yeah. and you're gonna be 
There's no canned tuna in there, no canned chicken, none of that stuff. It's literally pasta and Alfredo sauces and pasta and something and then oatmeal with sugar and then cereals and things like that. There's nothing of actual nutritional delivery in there. So that was my whole thing. When I used to go out there and I'd say, do not waste your money on this. If you wanna spend $80 on a bucket, go get a five gallon bucket for free from your local paint store and fill it up with cans of tuna and you know different rices that you, if you have a pot and you have water, you can boil water over a campfire, throw some rice in there and have real stuff you don't need these things that are literally only carbs and sugar you need to have proteins and good carbs those mre buckets are trash and then when it's empty you'll have a pot to piss in there you go but and you didn't pay 80 dollars for it fbi director christopher ray on wednesday warned that chinese hackers are preparing to wreak havoc and cause real world harm to the u.s chinese china's hackers are positioning on American infrastructure in preparation to wreak havoc and cause real world harm to American citizens and communities if or when China decides the time has come to strike, according to Ray, is what he told the House Select Committee on the Chinese Communist Party. I have a comment here. Is it the fact that he knows it's about to happen yet? No, it's the fact that we keep selling our land and our businesses to China and they're going to take us down from within. We don't have to worry about China, the country. We have to worry about the own Trojan horse that we've made in our own country. Like, it's the stupidest thing. If you're so worried about China, why in the H-E double hockey sticks do you let them own land here and build businesses? Like, it does not make sense at all. None of it makes sense to me. That would literally be like me building and developing a community and inviting members of the clan to move in and then being mad that there are crosses burning in my front yard. I mean, you have literal Chinatown in San Francisco. You've got Chinatown in New York. You have literal, literal little towns called Chinatown. It's not, I'm not being racist. I'm not making anything up. That's literally what it's called. And only Chinese people can live there. That's a fact too all Chinese is, businesses. Uh, what is the and racial situation there? a lot of places there? have now Chinese police force, which is against, you know, U.S. law, but okay. Or what's, the, what's, the, what's the reverse racism there? Because there's no black town. There's no specifically labeled black town. No. No. BYD. BYD. What does that mean? I'm waiting for the camera to focus. I, thought, I don't know if it's focused or not. BYD. BYD is a uh, automotive subsidiary, uh, or BYD Auto is an automotive subsidiary of BYD Company, a publicly listed Chinese multinational manufacturing company. Probably based out of Ohio, more than likely. Now, uh, before actually, they're they're found. Uh, they're placed out of Shenzhen, China. Mm -hmm. um, but here's the deal: uh, Evergrande is going bankrupt. Evergrande is actually probably going to be one of the main reasons why uh, international trade financial markets will go will go bust. Yeah. Because of this Evergrande collapse. How many billions of dollars is it? 160 billion? It's a lot. It's a lot of billions. I think it's 160 billion. And they let it go on for so long, right? For numerous years. All right, so you got that. But also, BYD is an automotive manufacturer trying to get into this country, trying to sell their EV battery power vehicles, to, you know, to the people in this country who don't want it. Uh, but are mandated to happen. You know, you got Gavin Newsom out there riding around these Chinese electric SUVs. But I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I'm just, I'm just aware and imaginative. But if you were to see some sort of unbelievable event of self-driving cars, for instance, leave the world behind, I would be willing to bet that it would be the Chinese manufactured BYDs that they purposely provided to us mm -hmm. than the Teslas. Well, it doesn't, Tesla, Tesla is built the in Tesla, China too? The Teslas got hacked. The BYDs were already, they were planted for mm -hmm. that reason. Yes, yeah. Teslas are made in Mexico and they're made in China too. Uh, you don't know what's happening while they're on the assembly line in another country. But it's not owned by China, whereas BYD is 
a Chinese company. Well, you already have the Vietnamese car company in North Carolina. I uh, talked about before the mayor of a city there, uh, or the, I don't remember, it was the governor or a mayor, uh, literally pulled eminent domain on an entire town and moved everybody out, church included, and um, moved in a Vietnamese car manufacturing company. Well, some folks in Portland just got booted out of their house because they had a landslide. They can't live in their house anymore. But it says here that those cyber officials have long sounded the alarm about China's offensive cyber capabilities, raised dramatic public warning underlines the huge level of concern at the top of the U.S. government about the threat Chinese hackers pose to critical infrastructure nationwide. The head of the National Security Agency and other senior U.S. officials also testified on Chinese cyber activity in front of the panel on Wednesday. Chinese government-backed hackers Ray said, are targeting things like water treatment plants, electrical infrastructure, and oil and natural gas pipelines. Hey, sit down. The dog's losing its mind right now. Sit down. But, but I've also said, I've also said, how do we know it's actually who they're saying and it's not our own government going after us? It's not, you know, because of all the illegals that are coming into the country. It's not some, you know, homegrown terrorist group. You, you just never know. But it's easier to give the entire country a common enemy that they can look outside of the country for. The Chinese hackers are working to find and prepare to destroy or degrade the civilian critical infrastructure that keeps us safe and prosperous, Ray said. And let's be clear, cyber threats to our critical infrastructure represent real world threats to our physical safety. Well, here's a question. If you know it's China, why aren't you doing something to prevent China from being able to do it? Also, why is every single thing under the sun being pushed to go digital if you know that being digital and online is your biggest chance of getting, you know, hacked, obviously, or taken down or, you know, just absolute chaos? First it was Russia, then it was China, mm -hmm. then it was Russia, then it was Iran, then it was Hamas, then it was China. And then it was, you know, some deranged folks here with manifestos. Like, mm -hmm. mm, they got to keep the needle and, moving so that you constantly stay worried about somebody besides your own government. Our agency that is supposed to be c centralized intelligence doesn't seem to be very intelligent. Just a bunch of Dwayne the Rock Johnsons and Kevin Hart's running around. The Chinese government has previously denied allegations of hacking efforts. I don't think that they'll say yes. We would be like, no, nah, you're right. That was us. We totally did it. <laughs> yeah. Also, uh, would you like to sell us more land in your country near maybe, I don't know, an Air Force base or an Army base or something? We'd love, we'd love to be neighbors. The hearing comes, well, you got, you know, this is, I'm not saying keep them out, but this whole inclusivity thing. No, I'm not saying keep them out, but we cannot thing. buy land in China, so why can China buy land yeah, in Yeah, but country? we have like government programs aimed at enticing more from outside right. the country to it's come like, into the country. And as they opposed don't. to lifting up our don't. own people. You know, giving our own people a step up to, to help them. The hearing comes in the wake of a big push by U.S. and Chinese officials to ease tensions in the relationship between the two superpowers. At a meeting in November, Chinese President Xi Jinping assured U.S. President Joe Biden that China would not interfere in the 2024 U.S. election. And CNN exclusively reported on that on Tuesday, and that assure, assurance was reiterated by the Chinese foreign minister to Biden's national security advisor this past weekend. And sources told CNN that U.S. officials will be closely watching to see if Z keeps his word. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So they're implying here that if Biden were to lose, that's because China interfered with the election. Just like if Trump were to win, it's because Russia interfered with the election. Because they're saying that they're going to closely watch to see That's if Z said. keeps his word. Mm -hmm. If he kept his word, Biden would win. And then they would, they would say, yeah, he kept his word. He assured that to Biden. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? I thought they were saying he wouldn't interfere. That That's way. what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, because they would want Trump to win. But Trump is the one who put the tariffs on, so they would want Biden to win. Exactly. Okay, got it. Yeah, and you know the whole the the the, the libtards, the the Dems, the the, the the progressives, they want China. They yeah. want China. They are bringing China in. Bringing China. In. In, they're bringing China in 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 California, Southern California, with with clean white sneakers on, crossing the border with no problems, giving them cash, money, and cell phones. They want them here. Do you know what two countries will never ever go to war with each other? 
China and the United States because we literally both run the way we do because of each other. The United States is basically run by Chinese products and China is run by United States money. They're never going to go to war with each other. This will always be the back you know, and forth to scare the crap out of us, the, the, the peasants, if you will. There will never be a war between China and the United States. The same they may one. have like who's is bigger and little baby pissing contests over like tariffs and not tariffs and imports and not imports. They will never go The to same war. country that they're so worried about and concerned about is the same country we outsource everything to. Come on now. Yeah. So like I said, I'm never going to be the one who's like, oh no, we need to be worried about China. No, I mean, I'm sure there's people in China that suck, just like there's people here that suck. There's people in, you know, France that suck. There's people in the Bahamas that suck. There's people everywhere that suck. But I do not think, personally, that the United States and China going to war is ever going to be a thing. And uh, if Trump wins in 2024, we don't have to worry about Russia for at least four years, maybe the 16 after that, but... I'm not going to finish reading this. I'll, I'll probably pick it back up tomorrow. 